Leo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-July 2024. And I'll... Um, I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Leo. What do we got? Leo, uh, I want to have a chat with you guys um, before we start this. From what I've seen in the comments, you've entered a space of, oh my god, poor Leo, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Poor Leo what? Stop looking at things from this, oh my god, it's so negative, everything is so negative. It's the way you look at things. I'm just reading energy and pointing you out towards what needs to be looked at and healed, you know? Not to, to look into it and say, oh my god, are we ever going to get this? Are we ever going to... But if you stop looking at things from that perspective, then yes, you're going to get whatever the hell you want. You know, come on, Leos. Come on. And I'm saying that because I am a Leo. Come on. You know, I don't think I've ever stopped a reading and addressed the sign like that. But, you know, with you guys, I can do it because I'm like, ah, fuck it. If you're going to get upset, you're going to get upset anyway. And if you get it, you get it anyway. So, whatever, but come on. Roar, what the fuck, you know? Anyways, the overall energy for the reading, the Three of Cups. Um, good energy. <laughs> uh, no, it is a good energy because it, it, it's, it's opened up from your heart space. So, I'm not sure if... I feel, like, I feel like it involves other people, other energies here. I'm not sure in which way, but your heart is open towards connecting to others by the looks of it. Or somebody else is opening up this energy towards you. I don't know. But anyways, um, starting off the reading, you get the King of Swords crossed by the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, you're pursuing something here. You're taking small steps. You're not in a rush here. You're kind of... I feel like the part of you not being in a rush is actually the part in which you're kind of allowing for the universe to guide you as well towards this. The determination is there. The goal is there. The actual how feels a little slow, but not in a bad way. In a way of... Because I'm trying to also pay attention to how the universe guides me through this. So it's pretty nice. Um, in your focus, the Nine of Pentacles, you see a sense of strength, a sense of independence, a sense of, I've got this, because you do. Um, in the recent past, the Two of Swords, okay, a little bit of a cloudy area, you know, a little bit of a foggy kind of, oh, I don't know what's going on, and things like that. It happens, you know. Um, in your strength, the High Priestess, your intuition is popping in quite strong. Um, so... It's, it's a matter of, are you paying attention to it? In the uh, immediate future, the Empress, man, these are great energies. You're really stepping into your power for the supportive energy here, the, the King of Wands, that's you, stepping into your power. And that Empress right there in the immediate future, your heart is starting to open up more and more. You're starting to show up from that place more and more, you know? Um, the energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it, the King of Pentacles. Whatever it is that you're involved in right now is actually paving the path towards something very stable for your own sense of growth in that area of your own stability. So no matter how little it is or how big it is, it's still paving the path towards something pretty stable for you. Um, in your hopes and fears, the Seven of Cups. You're kind of worried, worried a little bit about maybe choices or options. I'm not sure what that is. It's kind of like, <laughs> almost like, what the fuck is this about? You know, but we'll see. Um, for the potential outcome, the page of pentacles. Yeah, keep yourself as open as you can um, in terms of just taking everything that comes as an experience in this life as an opportunity to learn something from from it rather than, oh my God, it's so tough, it's so hard. Life is hard for everybody. Life is hard for everybody, trust me, you know? But then it gets better. 
because it has to because that's the plan we have to learn from that hardship not allow it to put us put us down you know what i mean so i'm just saying i'm 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 on to you guys i'm like come on leos come on and you know that goes for every sign that that's out there and but i i wanted to open it up to you guys to, to hear to hear the the roars in the comments instead of oh my god oh do we ever get a break but yeah you do you just gotta take it you know all of us do all the time uh three of cups let's see for the three of cups you get the seven of cups the five of pentacles the knight of pentacles Hmm. Remember that Knight of Pentacles, the one that's walking slow to pay attention to what the universe has to say? Make sure that's the universe saying that. Because now I see what that Seven of Cups is. You know, that energy that I'm like, what the fuck is this doing here? It's because you're trying to look ahead. You're trying to kind of beat the universe. It's, it's almost becoming like a race against the universe. And it's like, no. The reason why things are happening slow right now is so that you have enough time and space to pay attention to where the universe is guiding you as well. What you're doing here is telling me that, that you recognize that that's what's happening. And then you're saying, well, the universe is kind of showing me this, and then this, and then this, and then this. And what am I supposed to do with that? The universe is not going to show you a thousand things at once. That's the point. Your mind is, your mind interpreting all of that, and that, and that, and that, and that, as the universe showing you that in case there's only one exception in which the universe is going to show you that to test you or to see how important it is for you to kind of stick loyal to what it is that you truly want and your destination that's it but the universe is never going to try to trick you into oh choose 10 things at once and then deal with it mm -mm. it's always going to have the right choice for you it's always going to point you towards the right choice for you but are you gonna see that? You tell me. Because that's why the Seven of Cups here shows up with the Five of Pentacles now. Quite the deceptive energy. It's one of those things where you look left and right and a lot of things are happening and then you're like, again, oh my God, the universe is sending me mixed signals. Mm -mm, you're mixing them up. It's not the universe. There, you know. Um. Let's do the King of Swords. The World card, the Ace of Wands, the Six of Cups. You've got your your um. You opened up a new door. I'm not sure if you're aware of it. I don't think so. I feel like to some extent you are, but I don't think you're fully aware that. Okay, this is a new door that we've opened up here, uh, and it could be tied up to a soul connection. So you could have someone along with you as you enter this new door. I don't know where this is going. I have no idea what this is about. The door that you opened for this direction feels really, really good, though. You know? I just see you entering there and you're not alone. And it feels good. Wherever you're entering. Um, let's do the Knight of Pentacles. The Star, the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. Alright. You're... you're <laughs> Again, uh, keep your eyes on the goal. Keep your eyes on the destination here. I'm not sure if you have a clear destination. You don't have to have it like picture perfect clear. It comes through sometimes as an energy. You know, I'm determined to go do this, whatever, because it feels good. So I'll keep my focus on doing exactly that on keep, you know, keeping the pace to, to get to that. Um, as you go to that, sometimes you fall off. It's like you lose your focus. You lose your, you, you, you lost it. For a split second, you lost it. Cause you started arguing with yourself or with the mixed signs that the universe is sending you. You know? So, I see you being thrown off here. And a lot of the times that you're being thrown off is because of you. Most of the times. It's almost like this, these um, imaginary choices that you think that the universe is sending your way, that you have to make. 
you know you make them real you make them appear real you throw them into your reality and you just made them real and now you have to go through all sorts of things to actually start kind of reverting back to the final destination which was the initial plan so it's kind of like spinning in circles without meaning to but ultimately you're, you're putting yourself there you know what i mean it's a it's a pretty mind-boggling and twisting kind of a uh, situation here that you're spinning into not that you want to because you're not crazy to do this to yourself you know but the good news about it all is that i see your heart from underneath it all starting to, to surface or to resurface which is going to be great because that's going to balance you out with your mind when you're left too for too long in your mind just like anybody else not only you but when you're left for too long here you're going to get yourself dizzy at some point only through thoughts it's like where's the feeling at where are you feeling your way into things oh i'm not because i forgot mm -hmm. so you're doing good here you just have some times where you kind of fall off and again the only one that's throwing you off here is going to be yourself you know for the nine of pentacles in your strength in your focus you get the king of pentacles the ace of cups the ten of cups don't tell me you don't have a goal it's it's here it's here it has to do with your stability with a growth in your sense of stability it has to do with love it's a mix of those so i'm not sure how that looks like i'm not sure if you know how that looks like if you don't know that's actually your homework give it an image give it a sense give it a a, a smell a sense to the touch a something give it something because it's here you have a focus you have a goal you have a mission here you're showing it to me energetically so now it's your turn to create it to put it on a paper to kind of get an idea of what you're pursuing you know so you have it let's do the two of swords in the recent past the tower the moon the ten of swords yeah oh my god oh my god messy 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 what the hell happened here uh, something crumbled down, something was lost potentially, I'm not sure what happened with that Ten of Swords, but something happened. And since that happened, unfortunately, you got sucked into that energy of whatever happened. Instead of healing it, you got sucked into it and you kind of got stuck into it. And from that place, you attracted all sorts of ill. Because that's what's going to happen if you don't heal it and you're just kind of in it. That's not a healthy energy right there. So I'm not sure for how long you've been there and, you know, but that affected you. Not in the nicest way. Let's do the high priestess in your strength. You get the sun, the four of cups, the three of cups. You're coming back to yourself slowly but surely. You're a little bit upset with yourself too because you're like, I should have done this earlier. What the hell is wrong with me? How did I get lost? Don't be upset with yourself. You had to get lost in order to find yourself again. So nothing to be to be upset with here. Absolutely nothing. You know, you're not only coming back to yourself, you're coming back to the energies that love you and support you. Because if you've been missing for yourself, you've been missing for others too. You may have been there physically, but you know how it goes, you know? So you're coming back. You're coming back in full force here. So don't be upset about the, the the time in which you've been lost a little bit here. Because I see you lost there a little bit. And it happens. It happens. We're humans. We're going to get lost from time to time. No reason to get upset. Again, if you look at it from the perspective of, oh, I'm an idiot. How can I get lost? I should know better. Then that's how you're going to take it. And it doesn't do you any good. If you look at it from the perspective of, I needed to lose myself in order to find myself again. You've got a win right there. And it's a pretty healthy perspective to look at things from, you know? For the Empress, you get the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the King of Cups. Whew. Leo, you're coming back stronger than ever here. And your heart is definitely cracking open here, whether you want to or not. It's a full-on openness here. And you're gonna feel it, um, I'm not even sure if you're gonna feel it at an individual level 
or if you're gonna actually experience this stepping into your power and into your heart especially uh, when you're gonna see the energies around you how they behave and how they kind of are drawn towards you you know and those could be friends family again whoever is there um, to love and support you pretty cool energies here you're stepping into for the king of wands for the supportive energies you get the five of swords the page of cups the temperance card you've been keeping up a face a pretty good face like no i am standing in my power i am good look at me i'm leo hear me roar you've been doing a pretty good job with faking that roar you know um you're done with faking it because you're actually stepping into your power up until now you've kind of no i'm good i'm look roar so good you know not anymore you don't have to fake it anymore because it's you're actually coming through big time here but uh i see you i see you and only functioning with probably a quarter of your potential so like a a quarter of your actual roar you know um it is what it is you don't have to fake it till you make it anymore you know uh for the king of pentacles and the hidden energies you get the fool the wheel of fortune the six of swords you might back away from something here um something that initially feels good feels mm, it feels like it's that sign from the universe um you might back away from it but it feels natural it feels organic so that might have not been a sign from the universe you might have made it into a sign from the universe you know where it's like oh my god this is it oh my god ah. and this could have to do with again your work your job your something tied up to to your sense of stability here you might back away from something um but it doesn't feel like oh shit, i lost this or oh my god how can i it feels quite natural uh, th that sense of mm, okay all right this is what's happening, you know? Um, interesting. Let's do the Seven of Cups in your hopes and fears. For the Seven of Cups, you get the Page of Swords, the King of Wands, the Devil. Yeah, this is the King of Wands and the Devil. Not a great match here. Remember the King of Wands as a try to kind of keep up a face and be like, I'm, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm good, I'm doing this. I'm... Look at me stepping into my power and being like the Leo that I am. Um, that's, again, tied up to that sense of, oh my God, the signs from the universe. The universe has given me mixed signs. You did. The King of Wands and the Devil, you did. You did all of that. All of those signs that you saw, the signs, you got to understand, the signs from the universe, if we don't allow them to be signs from the universe, then they're just going to be an interpretation of ours. And if we're in a pretty nasty place here, like you've been, who knows how you're going to interpret that, you know? Yeah, blue agrees. So, I don't know. Let's do the page of pentacles um, as a potential outcome here. Two of wands, two of swords, the hermit. Uh, you're learning how to contain because this energy is still kind of sticking to you like freaking a, 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 an ant to a hummingbird feeder. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kind of looking up and I'm like, yeah, there were ants there, but they're not anymore. But this energy of here, even though it may, you, you are stepping into your power, which means you're stepping out of this energy more and more, there's still some lingering elements from it that you may feel like you want to go back to, you know, this, this past energy of whatever the hell happened there. Um, so you're kind of giving me a sense of, I'm learning, but at this point, you're, tell, you're telling me I've learned how to contain that, how to deal with that. When it does show up, I know exactly what to do about it. So that, again, another indication of you stepping into your power. So you're doing good. You're on the best path ever here for yourself, you know? 
And that right there is an energy that happens to, to all of us at some point. We don't need to, to feed it. You know, we can acknowledge it, we can go through it, we have to go through it in order to come out to the surface, out of it, you know, at some point. And that's exactly what's happening for you. So it's not the end of the world. It's not like, oh my God, we always have to work on ourselves. Healing is so hard. This is so hard. That's so, everything is hard. But you can make it as, you know, it's not hard. <laughs> why would you perceive it as being hard? To make it hard on yourself. But then why would you perceive it as not being easy? Because, you know, why? Because <laughs> it's easier if you have that sense of perception. But yeah, you, you also have to believe that. That, poof, this is not hard. Easy breezy, piece of cake. You know? Um, Queen of Swords, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups. Yeah, you're feeling it too. You're starting to see it. This energy popping in more and more each day. In the way that it's going to show up for you physically, it's definitely going to show up a little bit each day. Um, energetically speaking, like it's this explosion in your energy, basically. So it's, it's going to show up. You're going to see it. You know. Um, let's do the mystical journey oracle for you. Rites of passage number 33. <laughs> Is that a Leo in the background? I think that's the Leo roaring. Either that or what is that? I don't know what it is. I'll choose that to be a Leo. But I'll show it to you in a minute. All right. The Rites of Passage card indicates that a major change or milestone is about to take place. It is a powerful card that marks an important, possibly life-changing event. There is a sense of renewal surrounding your energy, with the card heralding the beginning of a fresh phase in your life. This card can also indicate a transition in your career and clearing out of your old life to make way for the new. The woman in the image is reconnecting with her wild nature, which is represented by the tiger. The wise eyes of, the, of her higher self look out into the world. She is ready. When you were young, you were probably taught to tame the wildness within, to play small and play it safe, and to stop making people feel uncomfortable with your strong emotions. You would have been encouraged to modify and adapt who you were to fit into society. However, to truly embrace yourself as you are is a rite of passage, and doing so can be a catalyst for great change. All rites of passage come with an expansion of energy that can initially feel painful or scary. Nevertheless, you are constantly evolving and your life is a journey of transformations. It is necessary to change and grow so you can become the best version of yourself and take your rightful place in society as a fully functioning adult and accept yourself and others just as you and they are. The action. This card has chosen you today. Take the first step in the process of transforming your life. What rite of passage can you honor with a ritual? It can be as simple as, l as lighting a candle and acknowledging a major milestone you have completed. Pay attention. Ah. <laughs> Holy shit, you're not going to believe this. I'll tell you in a minute. Wow. Pay attention to repetitive dreams or visions, for they will show you the way to your divine path. When I said pay attention, I swear to God, I felt something touching my leg. Uh, and it wasn't a bug or, you know, it wasn't that type of a touch of, oh, a bug. is. A... I felt an actual touch. I'm like, come on. How should I interpret that? Was that a sign from the universe? Or is that just me going, eh? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I, I know my shit. But anyways. Um, awesome reading. Very scary at the end there, but awesome reading. But anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped. And I'll see you next time. Bye.